YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tapes here, and today we're gonna be breaking down the easiest way to cut a music video in Premiere Pro. This is gonna be the fastest way possible to get the best results possible. If you guys are looking to see more content just like this, make sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. We're gonna be uploading every day going into the next couple of months, but without further ado, let's hop right into this video. All right, guys, so we're in Premiere Pro here. Like I said, we're gonna open up our file explorer and go to where we keep the footage for our video. So we're gonna be working on this Gunner video for the video hold it back. I'm just gonna press Control A and then holding Control, I'm gonna click on the proxies and then and we're going to go through and we're going to drag all the footage into this section here and then all these xml files this is only because i shoot on sony cameras and hit okay and then all our footage will be in here just like so our next step if you guys don't have a powerful computer and you're going to be working with some heavy heavy footage you guys want to press Control a selecting all of them proxying your footage does is it basically makes duplicates of all the footage in lower res quality and then while you're editing here you can turn it on and off using this button just like so so once again if you want to proxy Control a right click proxy create proxies and then preset lowest resolution proxy and then it will make a duplicate folder right beside where you keep your footage and you can just turn it on and off using this here if you don't see this here you can press the little plus symbol and then drag it from here in but yeah so first to start off we are going to go into our project here by hitting the tilde key which is the squiggly line right underneath escape we're going to open this here and we're going to create three bins first bin is going to be called perf for performance scenes second bin is going to be called b-roll for of course b-roll and the third bin is going to be called shutter for slow shutter and then we are going to go over here and sort it as list view sort and we're just going to go through and watch our footage i like to drag this out here to give it a little bit more room and let's just watch our footage and see where it belongs so i could use this as b-roll we're going to drag that in there that's obviously performance scenes that goes in there and then just for in a slow shutter example this is slow shutter here obviously so we're going to drag that up into the slow shutter bin just like so and yeah you guys can go through one by one and do all that make sure it's all worked out i'm just going to speed this process up because it's pretty self-explanatory once you guys have everything organized here as we can see we have b-roll perf and shutter we're going to go where we have the song saved we go back to the folder and drag and drop the song in the timeline now what i like to do and i recommend you guys do it too just for your cuts i like dragging this all the way through so compared to before when it was like really tiny you can't really see where the bass hits or like where any of the hits are and then when you bring it out like this you can see all the audio peaks right so what i recommend doing next is going to your performance folder dragging this up for now and then we are going to drag each performance clip in one by one just like so as you can see for every time i'm dragging it down because the audio files in the place where like the first like audio from the clip would be if that makes sense so if i were to just drag it in here it would actually cut off the audio at the bottom clip if you guys can see there so just always drag it one above and then drag it down all right now once you have all your footage in here as you can see we have some that have higher audio peaks than these ones here so for all the quieter ones we're just going to highlight them right click go to audio gain and turn that up by about seven i think that looks right there maybe this one could go up a little bit more by like five and then these ones here could go up by like 10 all right and now what we're going to do is we are going to make sure we have these two v1 and a1 clicked on these two we're going to press Control a to highlight all of them right click and then we are going to synchronize what this is going to do is it's going to automatically synchronize all the audio together so you have all of it stacked with the song and if you get this failure here saying could not synchronize one or more clips blah 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 we're just going to go through one by one and see which ones aren't being synchronized so starting off with this one so that one's synchronized next one and it helps a little bit if you scale it out because i did shoot this in 4k and this is a 1080p timeline That one's synced. Most likely, I'm thinking it's going to be these two that are at the beginning, as you can see. Everything else has moved. If I'm, if my guess is right, yeah, exactly. So let's go over and automatically do this ourselves. So exactly where he says listen here, I cut right, and then we're going to go to the song. Right where he says listen, there we're going to make a cut. And we're going to drag these on just like so. And then we'll scale that out a little bit or all the way. And that's cut there perfectly, right? And I'm pretty sure everything else is synced. It was just that one clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all these audio clips here that are attached to the video components, hit unlink, and then we're going to delete them just like so. And then see all these empty audio tracks here. You don't really want those. So we're going to go down to delete tracks, delete all empty audio tracks, hit OK, and then you'll just be stuck with this audio file here. All right, now the next step is you can go over and line these up just like so with the beginning. Then you're going to hit Control A and line them to the front. Now, what I like to do for these types of videos, like I said at the beginning, I'll drag out the audio file so we have a lot more room to work with. But I'm going to put a marker up here on the timeline. 
just by hiding I on a keyboard for in and out. Though what I like to do, it's all up to personal preference. I like to start cutting my videos for the first time when the bass drops, right? The cutting method that I do. And then I like to go back with the B-roll and all the other stuff and do the intro last, spend the most time on that because that's the build up to this drop that everybody's gonna see. All right, so I highly recommend you guys go up into edit, keyboard shortcuts. We're gonna search enable here. And then as you guys can see here, I have enable set to E on my keyboard. It's probably gonna be set to something else. Just click on it, delete it, and then click it again and set it to E and then hit okay on your keyboard. What this is gonna do is when you're clicking on a clip, a video clip or an audio clip, you can press E on your keyboard to turn it on and off. And I know some people that use the eyedropper here to turn it on and off. Now, what actually happens when you use the eyedropper here? Let's say I use the eyedropper here and I'm still playing the footage. Your computer's memory and system is still gonna like play it as if it was still there compared to where if you were to press E on your keyboard, it's gonna play it if it wasn't there. So I highly recommend you guys go ahead and do that for your edits. All right, now moving on, um, as you guys could see, we're in a 1080p timeline and a lot of these clips are zoomed in. So the way to fix this is we are going to scale this one to 50%, press control C on it, highlight the rest of them and then press control alt V on our keyboard and then make sure we have motion selected here and then we're gonna hit okay. And then as you guys can see, all of them are yellow here. So that means it has an emotion effect applied to them or an effect. And now they're all gonna be properly sized. And then this isn't a color grading tutorial. This is more so cutting, but just super quick. I'm just gonna color these. If you guys wanna see a more in-depth coloring tutorial, I'll have that linked in the description below and I'll have a card up here for you guys to go check it out. You guys can go use our LUT pack for this stuff. That's what I'm gonna be using. I highly recommend it. 250 plus LUTs in it. So we're gonna drag this on. And just super quickly, I noticed we're gonna go over to our sequence settings. I like to export my music videos at 23.976. Gives it the most film look in my opinion, which I like. Um, sometimes uh, it'll automatically be set to 60 or 30, depending on what you do. Once again, go set it to 24. That was my mistake. All right. And then we're gonna go over to Lumetric Color, just super quick, go over to Creative. And then we're gonna go open our LUT pack. And then let's go ahead and throw 120 on there not sure what this looks like all right that looks pretty cool there nice little look and then we're gonna go over to basic correction make this look a little bit nicer by turning up the highlights turning up the saturation turning down the greens the oranges maybe turn the saturation down a little bit exposure contrast turn down the blacks a little bit that looks pretty cool there i like the look of that um once again this isn't a coloring tutorial this is just super quick for the sake of the video all right now since we have the let on here you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna do all the basic correction to the clip like I did on the actual file. So once again, the LUT is on the adjustment layer on top and then you're gonna be doing the basic correction which I did here on the file itself. So just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna delete this. This is just cutting for now, but if you wanna see a coloring tutorial, I'll have one in the description and a card up here. All right, now moving on, like I said, I like to start when the bass drops. It's just easier if I don't really explain what I'm doing and just kind of show you guys. I like that drop there. So we'll start here. And then I whip the camera to the side. And then what I like to do is I like to make this one bigger up here. I like that one there, so I'll drag that one up. Right, and then we'll play the next one. Not liking the way that looks. Now with the more practice and the more you do this, you'll get faster at it. Kind of that. That's pretty cool there, but I think we could do better. So for now, I'm just gonna cut this, drag it up there and keep it off. Not enough energy. That's cool there, but needs more movement in the camera, more energy. More movement, like I said. There we go. Right, gonna drag that one up. Now what I'd like to do, is I shoot all my footage in 60 frames per second. I recommend you guys do it as well. So watch this right here. We're gonna do a little, couple, little bit of speed ramping. And right for this bass hits right here, as you guys can see on the peak on the audio, we're gonna cut it by pressing C, go over to speed and duration, make it 50. And then right where this one hits here. Right there. We're going to speed and duration it to 300. And then make it two frames. And then we'll find the next clip here. Right, like that one there, we'll drag it up. And then I like to cut to the beat a lot. So right when that cuts there, we'll 
find a different one. And then it helps too if you click outside so you're not selected on anything and you play it. Uh, make Keep in mind, use M on your keyboard. I like to mark where the B comes in. So I'm just gonna play this and do that super quick. Pay attention to this area up here. Like that. And that's just like a key area of like where to cut to. But let's say we grab like random clips. I don't actually do this, but I do it sometimes just to see how it flows. Uh, just random ass clips from the footage, just like that. And we'll see how this looks. And we can cut that there. All right, and then make this one 50% here. Looks like we did the bigger. And then it's gonna have like a nice little hit there, right? So right before it, we'll stretch this out and we'll make it 300 times speed. And, and you guys pretty much get the point there. If you wanna guys wanna add a little bit more movement to your edit. So as you can see what we did here with the B cuts and just throwing random clips in there. So I recommend going through and actually like picking the best clip that matches it. But this is just for the sake of tutorial to show you guys what I do sometimes if the song does have a faster BPM. <clears throat> So another way to make this a little bit more saucy, you can go in and import an adjustment layer, hit OK. We're going to throw that on top there. We're going to make this adjustment layer four frames, one, two, three, four, and then cut it. All right. And we're going to bring this in between our two clips. We're actually going to start it over here where the, where the beat starts to get really fast. We're going to go over to effects. And now we're going to be using the tiny tapes, fast movement effects. We're going to go over and throw on faster movement one. If you guys want to go cop this, it will be linked in the description below. Highly recommend it for your videos. Super easy to use. So again, grab your adjustment layer and throw it on. So fast movement one, and then we're going to duplicate this one before we throw any of the one actually we're gonna duplicate them just by holding alt and dragging we're gonna do it three times so faster movement one on the first one faster movement two on the second one and then faster movement three on the third one and then we're just gonna start by making them go over again so one two three one two three and then we'll play that through for you guys so this is without it right and this is with it And there we go, guys. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see more in-depth videos just like this, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, man. Why not? It's free. Going to be uploaded every day for the next couple of months. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out our last video alongside a playlist of a bunch of other banging tutorials. Catch you guys in the next one.